Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing a more detailed tutorial on how to create a children's book than what you've seen in my previous videos. We'll be using Midjourney's AI to generate some book characters and backgrounds and Photoshop to compile them into a publishable standard, just like the one you see on screen right now. Also, as requested by some of you in my last video, I'll be sharing every AI prompt used to create this book. So let's dive in. First thing to do is to set up a template document for your book by going File, New, and change the unit measurements to centimeters and type in the dimensions of your book. Bear in mind that this is a double page spread, so the width of your document should be twice that of your single page. Set the resolution to 300 dpi, and finally make sure that the document color mode is set to CMYK, as this is the color mode that is used for print materials. In the document, you can simply choose the brush and hold shift and drag a line to divide your page into two separate panels, where one can be used for the illustration and the other for text. I recommend using a consistent design like this with dedicated boxes for image and text as it will simplify the design and help you determine the aspect ratio needed for the background images you generate in Midjourney. If you're uploading your book to Amazon KDP, you'll need to add bleed to the print document. To do this, go to view and make sure the rulers are set to on. Drag a ruler from the edge of the box to all edges of your document, then go to image menu and choose canvas size and add 0.6 centimeters to both width and height of your document. As you can see, 0.6 centimeters of bleed has been added to the document. So now I'm going to develop some illustrations using AI. If you're not already familiar with Midjourney, you can check out my tutorial in the top right of the screen. First thing you want to do in Midjourney is to type in forward slash settings and change the Midjourney version 5 to Midjourney version 4. For me it just works better at generating children's book illustrations, but feel free to try both versions and see what works best for you. After typing forward slash imagine prompt, include the words multiple poses and expressions, along with the prompt that describes the vision you have for the character. I've used Alice in Wonderland character, children's book illustration style, simple, cute, five-year-old girl, full colour, blue shoes, blue dress, long blonde hair, and flat colour. It's important to describe as many characteristics as possible. So here's the resulting character sheet, and this will be a base for the entire book. So here I have the first page of the book written out. To break it down into illustration, I would highlight all the characters, so Alice and the White Rabbit, happenings, which are the rabbit running past and Alice joining the chase, emotions, which is the rabbit in a fright because he's late, and curious Alice, and finally the environment. To generate another Alice character consistent to the previous model sheet, you can open the model sheet in a web page and use the short keys, Windows key, Shift and S, which works for Windows, and this will open the snipping tool. Now, if you drag a box over one of the characters, it will copy it to the clipboard, and then you can paste it into Midjourney. Repeat the process for the other characters on the model sheet, and this will give Midjourney some reference to generate characters in the same style. Once you have all the characters uploaded, right-click each image and choose copy link and paste each link into the prompt after forward slash imagine prompt. For my prompt, I've used everything from the model sheet prompt, but removed multiple poses and expressions and replaced it with running in a dynamic pose side profile. So here's the resulting image. It's kept consistency, but it might need a few adjustments to the dress and shoes. You can save this image and move on to the next character. Next, I prompted for a rabbit, describing everything I could think of and including a watch because the rabbit is running late. Here's the resulting image. And lastly, the background. I've used a girl chasing a rabbit in the prompt as it will provide a background that has the right composition for adding the characters that I'm going to use. I can edit out the girl from the background in Photoshop. I've also included prompts such as flat color and minus minus no outline to ensure that there is consistency in the relationship to the characters and the background. Another thing to consider is adding minus minus AR which is an aspect ratio and follow with space and the numbers associated with your illustration proportions. I've used 2-1 as my template illustration is twice as wide as it is high. 
This next step of upscaling the characters is most important for getting high quality images in your book. I'll leave a link in the description for the website. You should upscale your characters at least eight times and upscale your backgrounds about four times. This website does charge around $13 a month for 200 images, but I think it's definitely worth the money. So I'm going to run through a Photoshop tutorial now. I will include all the tools you'll need to create this book and how to compose the images into a scene. First couple of tools are just the selection tools. You have a box selection or circle selection if you click and hold the button down. This is useful for cutting out areas and the same goes for the lasso tool. The wand tool is going to be the most important tool for removing the character from the background. You'll want to make sure that contiguous is ticked at the top and the tolerance is set to 45. Click on the background and go edit cut. You can repeat this process for all the areas of the background that need cutting out from the image. The color pick tool will select the color in the area of your design that you choose. For example, the face here, I can choose the color and then use the brush tool to brush out any design faults of the AI generation. You can change the brush size at the top and you always want the brush hardness set to around 85%. I'm just repeating the color pick and brush to clean up the design. I recommend using short keys for this as it's a quicker process. Now with the eraser tool, you can brush out any parts that don't belong to the main character. There's also a zoom tool which you can right click and choose zoom in or zoom out or you can use control minus or plus and there's also a hand tool for panning across the design. I'll quickly repeat the process for the rabbit using the same tools. You can also add a colour layer if you need to. You can put this underneath the image to see the design more clearly and then delete it later on. For the background, I just want to remove the girl from the image by using the colour pick tool and the brush tool and get the design looking as if it was an original. To layer the background and the characters, just click select all on the document and paste it into your template. Here you can scale the design by using the short key Ctrl T, hold shift and scale the design down to size, hit enter to apply the design. Repeat the process for the characters, scaling them into the design. Sometimes the eyes don't come out the way you need them to be in the design. So using the circle selection tool, you can draw new ones into position. It's also worth mentioning that the closer eye should be slightly bigger than the furthest away. So hitting Ctrl T on the keyboard and scaling it up should do this. Next is to drag a box with the type tool. Set the font and size at the top. and then go window character and adjust the line height to where it's suitable for your design. Last thing to do is to check that anything important such as characters or type doesn't fall into the center fold of the book. So go to view menu, 
choose new guide and select vertical and type in 50 into the position. Make sure to use the percentage sign after the number 50. Next step is to separate the double page spread into two single pages. Select the crop tool in the tools menu and drag the right side to the center guide and go to file save. Save it as a JPEG and call it page one. If you don't have the history window open, go to Windows menu and click history. Go back a step in the history and it should reveal the full document where you can repeat the process again for cropping the second page and also saving it as a JPEG calling it page 2. As you can see I have the first two pages ready to go but Amazon requires a PDF format for books that have bleed, which is basically pages that have images that run up to the edge of the page. This next step is just for when you have a complete book made out of JPEGs and everything is finalized. Head over to this website where you can upload the JPEGs and publish them into a PDF format. To generate the rest of the book, it's just the same process that I've showed you for the first two pages, but just using different prompts in mid journey. I also have another video of the finished book with voiceover reading the story through. If you'd like to check that out, feel free. So I'll leave the video running with all the prompts that I used for this book and how I layered them in Photoshop. So if you have any questions on the rest of the video and how I developed the book, just drop them in the comments. If you like the video, drop us a like or subscribe, and I'll leave you to watch the rest of the creation of the book. See you next time.